Hello, welcome to White Dairy Gardening and Worm Farm. Today is day one since I fed the worms. So we're going to be checking on them to see how they're doing, how much of the food scraps they have consumed. So we gave them a pound of food. Oh, they're all gathered in this region. Nice. Yeah, so they haven't finished the food yet. It has been 24 hours since they were fed. And given the quantity of worms in here and the amount of food scraps that's left, I would say definitely they haven't eaten even half their body weight for the entire 24 hours. Now let's check on the ones that were given. You can see this bin is hot. It is sweating. Yeah, so we're gonna check on the one that was given the chow. There's one long guy there spreading out on the bin. I'm not sure where he's trying to go. My advice to him would be to go back down. Okay, so as is the case with the food scraps, the worm chow is still there as to the quantity of it that is eaten i'm not sure yet but one thing is for certain there aren't a lot of worms in this area as is the case with the worms that are fed the food scraps So it would appear as if they prefer the food scrap to the chow. But we're going to be observing this bin on a daily basis. And then we'll be able to draw our final conclusion from that. I haven't seen any worms in here on the floor since that first night that they were placed in here so that is good I didn't have any moisture to the bin when I was feeding it but they have sufficient moisture so this is the first part of the update there is more to come so this is day two let's check on the food scraps I can see the worms are gathered around the food scraps but they still have some amount of food scraps yet so two pounds of worms one pound of food of course they have bedding material in there that they may be eating as well so that might slow down the rate at which they consume the food scraps but for the most part as you can see they are scattered throughout the bin but most of the worms are gathered where the food is so most of them are gathered where the food is but there is still quite a lot of them in this region the 
Now let's check on these. Okay, so I put some holes in this cover because yesterday when I show the bin to you, it was all sweaty. It is still sweating a bit, but not as much. So I put some holes in there to help to control the heat in the bucket. There's one worm relaxing up there. Now let's see what's going on for the worm chow. And there it is. The worm chow is still there. The quantity has gone down, but there isn't a lot of worms gathered in this vicinity as is the case with the bin that has the food scraps as you can see upon this opposite end of the bin quite a lot of them are there so truth and in fact it seems most of the worms have not gone over to the worm chow So it would seem as if they definitely prefer the food scraps to the worm chow. Today is day three. So we're going to check on these guys. They're still scattered throughout the bin. Most of them are in this region here. So they're working on the corn. They're working on the banana peel as well. Most of the lettuce is gone and a piece of potato skin but yeah I would say maybe they have about one-third of the food I gave them remaining Let's see. Oh, this bin is still sweating. I need to find a different cover for this bin. Quite a few of the bin, the worms are hanging out. There is one or two in there. There's one on the side there. And there's one down in here. But for the most part, they are on in the bin so I can see traces of the food scraps of the not food scraps but the oh interesting the worm chow eh. interesting that it is actually feeling quite warm so yes the worm chow that I made seem to be heating up that could probably be one of the reasons why you don't see the worms gathering around it the rest of the bin is cool not cold not hot but this is a location here where I have the Okay, so 
obviously the quantity is going down so all of this light color stuff that you're looking at is the worm chow yes I definitely believe the reason the worms are not gathered here because it is even through the gloves I can feel the heat coming out of this thing and then it is getting somewhat compacted or at least it is sticking together and forming clumps so that heat could be the reason why they're not gathering over there Anyway, we're just going to let them keep on working at this at their own pace. Thankfully, the rest of the bin doesn't have this material that's heating up. So they have somewhere to go in case they get hot. And the bin is already warm enough that the worms are... The bin is sweating. I don't know if just that could be making all of the bin hot enough for it to sweat. But it is sweating. Anyway... I'll give you more updates tomorrow. Yesterday was the fourth day and I did not record how much they have eaten. So, and it was a pretty warm day. We had temperatures up to 27 and I find that the worms were crawling up on the sides. They were in this section here. And in that section there as well. So 27 inside the garage was a bit hot for them. I still see quite a lot of them gathered around the food scraps. So a piece of the banana peel is left. The corn cob, I expect that to be there for quite a while. Yeah, so it seemed the banana peel and the corn cob is what's left along with this tiny piece of cucumber. So that's what's left out of the food scraps. Now, this experiment, I wanted to see if they, how much they would eat in a day. And I also wanted to see whether they would finish the food scraps before they finished the um that's the worm chow so so far they have practically finished the food scraps it's just the corn cob which i don't expect to be finished anytime soon and they I didn't even realize that i had accidentally put a piece of corn cob in there because i would not have used that as a part of the experiment so the banana peel i expect them to take a little bit time of time to go through that as well now the experiment was to see whether they prefer the food scraps as opposed to the worm chow and also to see how much they would eat in a day. Now regarding how much they would eat in a day, it is going to be inconclusive because I overlooked a bit of information when I was starting this experiment and that is the fact that these worms, I got them in compost and they have that compost to feed on which means that all the worms are not going to be focusing on the food scraps or the worm chow because they also have the compost to feed on so that part of this experiment is going to be inconclusive which means that i'm going to be doing over that aspect of the experiment as soon as the worms finish what's in here but as regards to whether or not they prefer the food scraps as opposed to the worm chow, I think we can conclude that they prefer the food scraps. Oh, look at that. It's molding up and it's sweating a lot in here. Yes, yeah, so I think we can conclude that they prefer the food scraps because in the five days that it's been in here, they've practically finished it. Whereas all of this is the chow. All of what you're looking at here is the chow that they haven't finished yet. Oh, 
all of that is the chow with a little bit of leaves in it so we can conclude that they prefer the food scraps as opposed to the worm chow I uh, will be redoing the experiment not with the worm chow and the food scraps but do we redoing that aspect of the experiment where we're trying to see how much they eat in a day but that will be done as I mentioned before after the worms have consumed the material that is in here then I will be able to get a more conclusive I'll be able to draw a better conclusion as to how much they eat in a day okay so if you enjoy this experiment and you would like to see more experimental videos like these please take a moment to give me a thumbs up you can leave a comment in the section below if you're new to my channel Please subscribe and turn on your notification for more updates like these. Thank you so much for watching and have yourself a wonderful day. Yemen, yeah, a time for growth.